channel hope everybody's doing well well it's Friday May 27th uh, Memorial Day weekend and I believe summer is finally upon us it's warm out we're in the uh, low 80s today I uh, put a long hard four days in this week probably I don't know how many hours a lot so I could uh, take a four day weekend so I've been working around here at the homestead today. Had to do a bunch of running around this morning, so I got a late start. It's late afternoon now, but we are finally, finally done with uh, leaf raking and uh, debris cleanup. As you can see, I got our third trailer full. Yeah, it's a lot of leaves. I need to get done with this, which I about am. I also have shrub cutting in there. I had to do that last weekend, but I gotta get this uh, trailer off of the International Low Boy and the plow off of it so we can get the deck on because my fields are about out of control and it's time to cut some grass. So after I bring you along for a little work around the homestead today, give you something to watch. I don't know if you. It's going to be very interesting, but hey, some tasks around here aren't very interesting. So, now let's fire his tractor up and take his trailer up to the ridge and dump her.
rabbit habitat. Oh, I'm glad to be done with these leaves. One of my least favorite jobs is cleaning up leaves. It takes forever. are done. Yeah. It's one of the best inventions on a homestead right there, I tell you. Got to be one of the heaviest used tools I have. Other than the trackers. Look how beautiful it's getting up here on the mountain. You guys remember from, well, the majority of my videos were fall and winter, so get to see what it looked like up here prior to all the leaves being on see how thick it's starting to get that's the stump I always shoot at on the other side of the international right there over here is my archery range which needs some major attention that's not very much a priority right now. You can see the uh, big oak trees all over my property up here. That big behemoth right there. I always wanted to put a platform up in that tree. I always thought that would be cool to have one up there where the Y is. Nice big deck to look out across the mountain up there. You could see all the way out over, it'd be neat. I climbed up in it one time, it was a nice view. Look down in here where I hunt deer. In fact, this is a, a heavily used trail here. Usually they come through here. There's always buck rubs down through here. You can see how lush and green everything has gotten. You can't even see the mountain over on the other side anymore. It's over there though. Down in these rocks are where the deer always lay, especially in rifle season when they start getting pressure. They always come up here to my place. Lay anywhere from back, back this way all the way down. Down that way is where I was muzzleloader hunting this past season, trying to uh, get a crack at that big buck that uh, never gave me the opportunity. He's not dumb. I seen him one time in there, and it was about six in the morning when it was still pitch black out. The moonlight was showing his uh, big, beautiful rack to me, but that was it, and that was the last time I seen him. So yeah, I just want to show you how nice and green it's getting up in here. Yeah, you can check it out. I'll take you guys along for the ride out. Sometime I'll have to do a 
nice tour of the property show you guys around really good so yep let's go this carburetor drips on me always has so I shut the gas off I even rebuilt it years ago still did it so I shut her off man it's not a big deal notice my uh yeah she's getting rough that's pretty much how it was when i got it <clears throat> i've never taken the time to do much with it and i need to other than i had to redo that tension spring down there i have this one i just picked this one up last fall off of one of the guys that works for me he had an old international that he had this one on. He sold the tractor or traded it in, but he kept the plow for whatever reason, so I picked it up. This one's in nice shape. Even has the shoes on it. It has the old style spring. That's for a, uh, not a numbered low boy, but one of the original low boys, the high row crop style off-centered seat one. So I don't know how they had this thing rigged up on his unit, but yeah, nice shape. I have to make some brackets or use the brackets from that one, but I'll start using that one for snow. And then uh, redo this one and use it for an actual dozer blade. Which is what they actually were, was a blade. They didn't even have snowshoes originally. They're both international. This one here's had some modifications done on it before I go out. You can see they welded a plate on the top to make it taller. And they welded these extensions on. The blades actually flipped over. You can see where the shoes, the optional shoes bolted on. But yeah, it still has the IH sticker on over there. So, But we're going to go over to the old home place and take this thing off under the porch. That's where I usually keep it. So let's go do that now. under here too.
that's okay. There's not much to them. Some uh, 3 8 steel offset. I think we could handle that. Fabricate those one of these days. My uh, finish deck for this thing, I've been wanting to do some work on it too. And I swear, when I want to, and the time comes, it's time to put it on and start using it, and I never get to do it. So, now yeah, let me get this thing off of here, and uh, I guess we'll go get that deck on. Somebody put this boat right in the way. No, I gotta move it. I don't know who the heck that was. About time to move it out to the lake, actually. I'm ready to go fishing again. Whoa! deck is bolted up. We'll have to make some final adjustments once we get it out into the field, but now we got to get the belt on her and take the tire chains off. I'll show you this belt. It's a pretty big one. Here's PTO engagement. This one's not electric. Belt goes around this pulley. Runs around these two idler pulleys down here. Goes under the tractor. And then it hits this pulley right here on the main shaft on the center blade. Wait right here 
and then these two run off the center one like so which I have a bad bearing ow bad bearing in one of these I can hear it about had a bad thumb there too jeez a man I'm a dummy smash my thumb off so we'll go ahead and get this baby on now and our deck is about ready for uh, cutting some grass. Still gotta get the chains off. But I really gotta do some paint work on this thing. All right, let's get this thing on. All right, deck's on. Chains are off. Plows off. Filled up. Let's see if we can't get some of this field cut. Losing daylight, but if I can get my lights working, it won't matter. Let's get her done. say so myself we finished up all the uh, debris cleanup spring debris cleanup from winter all my wonderful big oak trees that make so much work for me every year but you'll have that got all that done got the trailer dumped trailer off got the plow off the low boy uh, got the chains off Got the deck on, got the first field cut, that's a good start, I'll take that. Yeah, it's not even that late, probably about 9 o'clock, so go take a shower and I'll get a little relaxation time in tonight, how about that? Probably edit this video, so. So I guess that's about it for this one, I just figured I'd bring it along for some chores. We're just getting started for the weekend. Show you what a typical weekend's like up here at the homestead. Trying to get all these mundane everyday tasks out of the way so we can get started down to cottage projects. So uh, that's about it for this one. Uh, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you know anybody like the channel, please share share it with them. Helps bring attention to the Allegheny Mountain Living Channel and the name. If anybody wants to follow us on Instagram, you can follow us at Allegheny under slash or underscore mountain underscore living. 
I want to say thank you as always to all the subscribers and everybody that supports the channel. Really appreciate it. This has been a really great week. We really picked a lot of subscribers up this week and uh, I really, really do appreciate all of you coming aboard and taking the time to watch the videos. It's, uh, it's a big deal. So thank you very much for that. I'll uh, keep putting content up as long as you guys want to watch it. So I appreciate it. And I think I'm going to end this one here. So as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video, and until next time, have a good evening.